In a world where colors danced and canvases whispered stories of ages past, lived a young boy named Ethan. His heart beat with an artistic rhythm, and his imagination knew no bounds. By his side was Mona the painting, a wise and expressive companion who had seen the world through the eyes of artists for centuries. Together, they embarked on a journey through time and creativity, exploring the wonders of art history. One sunny morning, as Ethan sketched in his notebook, Mona shimmered to life. Ethan, my friend, would you like to step into the artistic time gallery with me? Ethan's eyes widened with excitement. The artistic time gallery? What's that? Mona smiled, her colors shifting like a mesmerizing sunset. It's a place where famous artworks from different periods come to life, and we get to experience the stories and emotions behind each masterpiece. With a nod, Ethan followed Mona into a portal that transported them to the gallery. The air was filled with a sense of wonder as they stood before a grand hall adorned with paintings spanning centuries. Their first stop was the Renaissance period, where they marveled at Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa. Mona the painting shared tales of the enigmatic smile that had captivated hearts for generations. As they gazed at the masterpiece, Ethan felt a connection between his own sketches and the artistry of da Vinci. Next, they journeyed to the Impressionist era, where Claude Monet's water lilies graced the walls. Ethan felt as if he were standing by a tranquil pond, surrounded by the play of light and color. Mona explained how Monet had captured fleeting moments with his brushstrokes, and Ethan was inspired to experiment with new techniques. In the Hall of Cubism, they encountered Picasso's Guernica. The painting's jagged lines and fragmented forms spoke of the anguish of war, as they delved into its history, Ethan learned that art had the power to convey powerful messages and emotions that resonated across time. They ventured into the abstract expressionist movement, where Jackson Pollock's No. 1A, 1948, hung like a web of energy. Mona helped Ethan understand that abstract art could be a window into an artist's inner thoughts and feelings inviting viewers to interpret the canvas in their own way. In the pop art section, they encountered Andy Warhol's Campbell's Soup Cans. Mona explained that even everyday objects could become symbols of culture and society. Ethan's eyes sparkled as he realized that art had the ability to turn the ordinary into something extraordinary. Their journey through art history continued, from the serene landscapes of the Hudson River School to the vibrant colors of the Fauvists. With each painting they encountered, Ethan gained a deeper appreciation for the diversity of artistic styles and the stories they told. As they stood before the final painting, an abstract work that seemed to swirl with emotion, Mona turned to Ethan. Remember, Ethan, every stroke of a brush, every splash of color, tells a story. Your art is your voice, your way of expressing your thoughts and emotions. Ethan nodded, his heart brimming with inspiration. Thank you, Mona. This journey has opened my eyes to the endless possibilities of art. With a soft glow, Mona faded back into her painting, leaving Ethan standing in the gallery. As he stepped out of the portal and back into his own world, he knew that his artistic journey had only just begun.